Billings firefighters and police officers put on a different kind of uniform over the weekend to participate in a baseball game, and it was all for charity. Not only is it fun for us, but more importantly, it's good for the community to come out and see us as real people. Uh, a lot of times we seem kind of unapproachable uh, when, we're, when we're on the job. People tend to, to stay away from us because of the nature of our business. And so, um, so it's a good opportunity for them to come out and see us as part of the community. Saturday was the first time that the first responders have played each other in a baseball game. But the history of the friendly rivalry between police and fire goes back to a football game called the Pig Bowl. God, ages ago, I want to say in the 70s, maybe the 80s, but it didn't go on for a lot. Uh, had a lot of injuries, if you can imagine. Football and, and competitive people just we, we kind of put each other in ground. So this is a great alternative to it. It's the first time we've done it. Uh, so we went big on the first time. We said, let's do it in Dealer Park and, and do it big. So we'll see who comes out on top. During the game, firefighters and police officers and a few extra helpers collected money for two charities, the Muscular Dystrophy Association and the Billings Education Association. When it was all said and done, the money was split equally between the two charities. During the game, the rivalry on the field was strong. You know, we work together out, out in the field and support the community, and we're on a lot of calls together, but uh, we come here today and we shake hands, but then we, we're going after it to win, so everybody wants to win, and we want to be able to beat them and have the bragging rights, and be able to carry that on year to year. In the end though, one team did have to come out on top, and it was the police officers who took home the bragging rights, beating out the firefighters with a score of six to four. Organizers hope the event will become an annual tradition, so the firefighters will likely get a shot at the title next summer. Reporting in Billings, Mitch Laggy, MTN News.